Hello and welcome <clears throat> to Master the Art of Change video blog. Olga Butcherev is here, and today I'll be answering one of the questions that you know uh, comes you know quite often in some of the Facebook groups that I'm part of, and also you know in my own community. And uh, you know the same challenge actually one of my business babe I've had. So I wanted to really talk about it because it's so important. And we're talking about how to deal with clients and people who push in our buttons, right? The annoying ones who ask for a bond, who just give us a bad review, you know, all of this good stuff. The one that we need to fire or the one who fire us. So how do we deal with all of this? Because the truth is, guys, if you're in business, then relationships are, you know, one of the biggest things that you need to build as a part of your business. So how do you handle things like this with integrity and, you know, still having, you know, um, um, an impeccable reputation, but also being true to yourself and staying sticking to your boundaries. So the first thing I wanted to ask you is, is it a part of a pattern? So I think, you know, somebody asked for a fund or something happened, that kind of like you, where you feel like he or she screwed me over, you know, and, you know, you're trying to be nice and then all of a sudden you're pissed and confused about, you know, how it's all turning out. So to say, well, have I ever felt like this before? Because the chances are, guys, if you go through the situation, there might be another case in your life when you had a similar situation, you know, and this is why the sting is, you know, so ah, sensitive. It really burns. It's because it's not the first time you're there. And, you know, if it's your pattern, just own it. It's like, okay, I kind of manifested it subconsciously, of course not consciously or intentionally because you know I remember it happened with a client and you know she had somebody who was a copycat and that's not a pretty situation you know and you know she had to do some legal actions and some other things and you know finally as it happened and this I go like well who is she reminding you of it's like oh my gosh she totally reminds me of my sister and then so we did some forgiveness work on the sister we did some forgiveness work on the client and all of a sudden it doesn't bother her she was like I went and read it and I, I don't even know why I got so upset over it. So see if it's kind of part of your pattern. I had personally a client like this who really like got on my nerves and you know she fired me but I left before she fired me. It was just really ugly you know and then I started thinking well how did I get into this and then all of a sudden I was like oh my gosh she totally reminds me of a childhood friend who didn't treat me very nice. You know she was rich and then I had all of this you know misconceptions about rich so it was a great opportunity to clear one of my blocks, you know, and I'm so glad that she helped me, you know, bring it up because it was showing me something about myself that I was, you know, ready to release. So just ask yourself, okay, is it a part of a pattern? Maybe, you know, there's something that is an opportunity to clear. The second thing I wanted to kind of ask yourself is, do I need a clear policy? You know, is there something that I'm just kind of like keep on going back and forth and, you know, people either asking you for refunds or lower your prices or by the way that, you, that they can work with you, well, how can you get some clarity around it? You know, and then the second thing, if I do have a policy, do I follow it? Like, I remember I had a policy about cancellations that I didn't stick to. I didn't follow it. And I was upset about my clients, like, all the time. And it's not until I changed it to, you know, packages to where it was very, very clear that you cannot cancel without with me 24 hours before a session. And if you do cancel, then you get charged, you know, in full. And once this in place, all of a sudden, I either didn't have any cancellations or they had zero effect on me. And then, of course, can you delegate some of these things? Maybe your system can take over with the cancellations. If you have, if your business is growing, you have so many things going on, you know, give it over, delegate it to somebody who doesn't even have any emotions around it, you know. Get, have some scripts in place and just, you know, be as mellow about it as possible because, you know, the truth is, guys, people like this, they will happen. They'll be part of your deal. There will not be a lot of them, but here and there, you know, if it happens, you just want to clear it as much as you can. Which brings us to point number three is to tap on it, you know, to really release all of that emotional gong so it doesn't keep on piling up and, you know, stopping us from doing the work we love because, you know, all of a sudden we're afraid that we're going to have another client like this, you know, who will say something bad about us or who will, you know, make a comment or write a bad review or ask for a response. So we really want to clear it. Because, you know, the truth is it happens, but it doesn't even happen that often, you know. So once you clear it out, maybe you'll have one or two per year, you know, maximum. So just kind of be really aware of it. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and start clearing it. 
So what I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes and just kind of think about that person. You know, so if it's a client of yours, or maybe something happened that you say, oh my gosh, I totally want to clear that. Either way, you know, he or she affected you. You just really want to let it go, guys, because now it's just you doing it to you. So once you are there, just feel it, see it. <clears throat> maybe you see, uh, you know, like an email from them or you hear the voice. So no, either way that you see it. And then what you do is just step into there just notice this emotion. So maybe you feel pissed off. Maybe you feel angry. Maybe you feel confused. Just bring all of that out. And then just, you know, tap on the side of the hand and say, even though I feel so pissed off about that client, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm really confused, I love and accept myself anyways. Even though I feel like she's trying to screw me over, I love and accept myself anyways. This feeling, I hate this, this horrible feeling. Thinks that she's sad, thinks that she did, and I'm just trying to be nice. I release and let it go. All the ways how it's part of my pattern all the ways how it's part of my dance. I'm so glad that she did this. I'm so glad that she said this because now I can change it. I can see how it's playing in my life, how I have attracted it into my reality. It's time for me to change that. It's safe for me to clear this pattern, to change this dance, to release it on the deep internal level. I forgive her and anybody before her who have done that. It's safe to let it go. Just let it go. I forgive myself and I forgive her. With love, compassion, and understanding. I now forgive. I now forgive. I now forgive. And I bring all power back into my body. I'm worthy and deserving of receiving love and abundance. Good job, guys. So just grab your hand, pulse around, breathe in, and breathe out. Alrighty, there you have it. So just rinse and repeat it, guys. Now, your final outcome of this scenario, you really wanna have like complete peace with that. I mean, honestly, guys, you wanna forgive and you wanna look at the situation that huh, okay, that happened, and you want to feel actually good about it. You want to feel either grateful or like you've learned your lesson or somehow that you got something good out of it. This is really the final outcome that you want to have this tapping, complete forgiveness. Because, you know, the truth is there is no other person according to the law of attraction, right? So when you forgive others, you forgive yourself and you give to yourself. So forgiveness is the best thing to unlock your abundance. Alrighty, guys, amazing job. I got around. There's my daughter right here who is <laughs> kind of trying to mimic me, so I'm going to go ahead and put some time. But you have a wonderful day, afternoon, morning, wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Wait.